Good afternoon and welcome to the special business meeting of the Council of the District of Squamish for November 13th, 2018. Welcome Squalum, Fisk Connecticut, Glasgow Homish, Uwehmet, which means welcome to the tra traditional territory of the Squamish Nation. Uh, we have an agenda for adoption. I don't propose any amendments to the agenda. There's a motion to adopt. By Councillor Herford, second by Councillor Anderson. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. First item on the agenda is bylaws, first three readings. I'll turn it over to Mr. Buxton, Buxton and Mr. Whiskin. Thank you, Acting Mayor and Council. Gary Buxton, General Manager um, here at the District with Chris Wickham, the Director of Engineering. Um, the bylaw today, the Subdivision Development Control Bylaw, essentially um, administers the installation of new municipal infrastructure, whether it be roads, water, sewer, storm, lights, parks, street furniture, street trees, all of those sorts of things are all regulated <coughs> by this bylaw and how they get installed to our standards. Uh, we've been working on this through uh, 2018 and we thought we'd cross the finish line just before the election. Um, we did get free readings. Council did pass the bylaw on October 23rd. Um, we just, at that point, um, we forgot to attach the schedules to the bylaw that was adopted on October 23rd. So what we actually have right now is a bylaw that um, repealed the previous bylaw, but now has no content. So we have a bylaw with no standards. Um, all of those schedules are absent. So we're simply today seeking to reinstate effectively the decision that council previously made um, and have that bylaw in its intact form so that we have something to work with immediately. And Mr. Wickham can give you a quick walkthrough as to what the bylaw um, has done, th this amended bylaw has done. Thank you. So very briefly, we were tasked with greening of the bylaw, or lo looking at the bylaw in the context of its uh, environmental impact. And uh, uh, we concentrated largely on stormwater, uh, including uh, adjusting IDF curves or the intensity, duration, and frequency of rainfall curves uh, to take climate change into account and uh, uh, change the uh, best management pro practices and pollution control measures required for stormwater. Um, we're looking for, uh, or you, sh you should look for rather, further updates after our storm integrated stormwater management plan is complete in the next year. Uh, to that section. We also took the opportunity to uh, improve the roadways and active transportation section. Uh, we re reduced some widths of uh, lanes um, for motorized traffic to make more room for pedestrians and bikes and also to uh, um, get more uh, traffic calming or slow people down on streets where that's appropriate. Improve pedestrian safety at, at intersections, uh, improve the street trees and boulevard designs, um, and then a lot of uh, smaller items like uh, LED light color temperature uh, was, uh, was reduced to give a, a warmer color. Um, we um, also just resolved some conflicts with uh, the zoning bylaw uh, and with uh, the uh, master municipal uh, construction documents, uh, which are sort of the bible of standards for uh, municipal construction. Uh, and added some new sections on dikes and erosion protection and on steep slopes, site grading and retaining walls. So uh, fairly, fairly comprehensive uh, in some areas and um, um, some pretty significant changes. Um, so I guess with that, we'd like to, uh, um, staff recommendation is that the District of Squamish Subdivision and Development Control at Bylaw Number 2649-2018 be given first, second, and third reading. Thank you. Are there any questions, Council? Council Pettingill. Uh, so I, I do recall the discussion on this with Council before the election. I'm wondering if someone can just clarify uh, what Council would have seen about uh, of the schedules that were missed in the final draft. Uh, absolutely, through the uh, Mayor. Um, so. Staff came to uh, Committee of the Whole and did a comprehensive presentation of all of the changes. 
uh, um, including all of the schedules. Um, and then the first three readings were presented, might have been the same day or, or a week later, uh, with um, all of the schedules attached. So those all went out to the public um, and to council. It was only on the adoption that just through simple clerical error, the schedules were not attached to the agenda. And that's why we find ourselves here today. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Staff recommendation is that <clears throat> District of Squamish Subdivision and Development Control Bylaw Number 2649-2018 be given first three readings. Is there a mover? Councilor Pettengill, seconded by Councilor French. Any discussion? I'll call the question. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. The only other piece of business is a motion to close. I'm looking for a motion from Council. Moved by Council Stormer, seconded by Councilor Herford. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously.